Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Infamous. Finally, after like eight fucking years of waiting for Walking Dead Episode 2, it is finally out. And we get to play it now, after so long. Uh, okay. Okay, how the hell am I going to do this? Trying to figure out how do I go about <laughs> how do I go to episode two? This is embarrassing. Oh, okay. Alright. Alright guys, this is episode two of the Walking Dead Star for help. Without further ado, let's get into it. I've been waiting for this for a long ass time now. So let's see what happens with uh, uh, Lee and uh, Clementine, and I forgot the other characters' names. Loading. <sighs> so we'll be like, I don't know if they're gonna do like a last time on Walking Dead or not. If not, I'll remind you guys of what happened. But let's see first. As soon as the loading screen goes away. Any day now. Okay. Oh, they, they are doing it. Cool. I know who you are. Oh, I got shit. another good one for you. yourself through this yeah I want my parents to come home now and you you keep an eye on that front door you're our lookout it's Doug you got it and I'm Carly okay Carly you'll shift in with Doug you got it boss <laughs> Anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. All right, that was the uh, last time on Walking Dead. That's the decisions. Yeah, those were the choices that I made in the first episode. So now they carry over. So that was the preview. I'm excited. This is. Finally, it took so long. They said monthly, but it took like two to three months for episode two to come out. Three months later. I gotta remember the controls. It's been really like three months. So I guess that's why, is that why it took so long? Cause it's three months after. So it really took three months. Who the hell is he? Damn. What'd they get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. <sighs> well, that's another meal lost. <sighs> I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. <laughs> well, rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but I'd take it. We're all hungry. You look like eating rabbits and... Squirrels. When I accidentally grabbed for Carly's rations the other night, I thought she was gonna take off my hand. We're all on edge. Just cut us some slack. Who are you, Jack? I said Jack. Yeah, Who are you, guy? You're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. Eight cookies. We'll manage. Maybe. You know, some people aren't too happy about the way Willie's handling rations. But he knows it's important to keep the adults fed and functioning. Sometimes that means someone's got to miss a meal. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? Uh, sure no one Kenny, so. nope. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Louie fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor end. 
You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. And splitting up with the group. He's got a wife and son to look out for. And they're safest in a big group. Going out on his own will get them all maybe, killed. Maybe. Can't blame know. him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? Was he old guy? I guess he's him? new to the group. Seems like he's got a problem with you in since, particular. Uh, since the last time. So I know it's three months he came with the group. He thinks I'm a danger to the group. And Clementine. I think he's the one putting us in danger. The way Lily worries about his health. I wouldn't be surprised if she's been skimming rations for mm. him. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker. But the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Knock me flat. Uh, we're gonna be the shot at a group. Somebody we're gonna have to. It's a long shot. I'd hate to waste the bullets. Uh, Trust me. If I don't think I can hit it, I don't know. Shoot. They might make some noise, and some people might. Zombies might hear that. Ah, uh, you fucking asshole. Shit, was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on. I thought you was a sure shot, asshole. Mr. Parker said we should stay off the streets. We were trying to be careful, but... Uh, Lee, this is fucked up. We've got to help. Please. Ben, shut up. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Just see if you can get him out. After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. Uh... We gotta get him out of there. Oh, God, thank you. Fine, but you gotta hurry. Yeah, y'all blast, y'all make, y'all shot that, um, that hurry, bullet. Please, hurry. The zombie's coming now. Lee, this trap has been altered. There's no release latch. Hmm. Somebody put out a bear trap to capture... Shit, walkers. It's now or never... Somebody gotta be eating humans then. Get me out of this. As food. Mark, get the boys back. Kenny, keep those walkers off of me. Oh, no, no, no! <laughs> Anything, no, not my legs. No. no. Oh! Lord Hammers. Oh! Let's go, let's go! Wow. Uh. Whoa. I'm sorry. Lee, it has to be now! Ugh! Stop. All right, somebody carry him now. If he's alive, grab him and let's go. Behind you, Travis! Come on, come Travis on, we got to move. How'd he get here? He dead. Yeah. That's an epic intro. Already way more gruesome than the first one. <laughs> Just based off of that alone. Going 
hungry. You think of something in the bushes, Crown? Get oh. the gates open! We've got wounded! Shit! What the hell are they doing? Come on! Come oh on! My God. What happened? Oh, that guy. What's, What's going on? I don't have time to explain. Me? Are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat, okay? can you fix him? Jesus, Ken. Lee! I, I don't know. Lee! What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking hey, minute? What? No, Come on. I don't. I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. He would have died if we left him. So what? We are not responsible well, for every struggle out, survivor then. we come across. We have to focus on our group right here, right now. Well, hang on. We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of I us. Say them more about that it. food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine. You guys fight it out there. <sighs> Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. B what? No, I... Just come on, okay? You, know, you like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Oh, come on, you're being dramatic. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not gonna be a part of that. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around, but now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. It doesn't matter who's in charge. Most people are here now. Because we just have to decide what happens no, next. No, Lee, it does matter. One person can't be in charge of everything. You know, it might feel safe for you to sit on the fence. But sooner or later, you're going to have to decide whose side you're on. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? I hate these two. I say kick their ass out of the group. I think this is easy for me. Everyone's starting to hate me because I'm the one that rations the food. But nobody else wants to. You know what? I'm not doing it tonight. You do it. There's today's food rations, but there's not enough for everyone. Good luck. Well, I'm not giving you and your father one. I know that for sure, bitch. Talk to him first. Is he gonna be okay? I don't know. Can you give me a hand real quick? Sure. What do you need? Just apply some pressure here while I try to close this up. You know, I thought I was starting to get used to this. Sewing up people's injuries. But I mean, cuts and bruises are one thing, but Lee, this man has no leg. 
I did the right thing. Yeah, I know you did. The right thing is just scary sometimes, I guess. Well, you've done all you can, Lee. Thanks for the help. Go ahead and check in on the others. I need a little space here anyway. Alright guys, we'll walk into it after this episode 2. Stay, so, ah, stay tuned.